On a Halloween night in Sequoia Town, Alex sought a frightening costume. In an antique shop, he found a cape in a display case with a mysterious glow. He heard footsteps approaching. The shop owner explained that it was a special cape. Alex donned the cape and was teleported to an enormous and terrifying mansion where there were hundreds of diners. Ghosts invited him to dine at the first table. With the first bite, Alex was transported to a vast forest of giant sequoias. He saw how majestic trees, which had lived for thousands of years, turned into luxurious dining tables, leading to severe desertification and ecosystem death due to human activity. One of these tables was where he sat. At the second table, Alex was transported to a field and witnessed the lives of a couple of curious cows that were cared for until adulthood. They saw other cows entering a mysterious place. On one of those nights, the rancher's wife, tired of their nightly escapades, led them to the same place where they were slaughtered for Alex's meal. At the third table, Alex witnessed the life of a boy named John, who became addicted to technology from birth. As a teenager, John became obsessed with computers and his parents forbade him from using technology. Possessed by a diabolical cybernetic spirit, he decided to murder them. He learned to program artificial intelligence algorithms obsessively, living secretly in a mall, using new gadgets at night. One day he received a shock that damaged his code, but over time, he managed to create an android. The demon appeared and proposed fusing his brain into the android for eternal life. He agreed, but the demon detonated his bionic brain, taking over his body. With the code, the demon replicated the android repeatedly with the wrong code, causing each android to kill a family, destroying humanity and eventually committing suicide like John. At the fourth table, Alex saw eating contests, massive food waste, excessive farming leading to environmental desertification, and an impending famine. At the fifth table, Alex witnessed the life of a lonely old man who couldn't eat because of killer robots eliminating any humans they encountered. The old man died of loneliness and hunger. Alex returned to the mansion, terrified. The ghosts told him that every vision he had experienced was the life story of each living being currently inhabiting the mansion. They explained that the cape he was wearing had allowed him to travel through time and into another dimension, where this mansion existed, trapped in eternity, endlessly replicating the suffering of all of humanity's mistakes for each diner. Alex now had the mission to return to his temporal reality and warn its inhabitants about what he had seen, teaching them to prevent each of the errors that the spirits of that mansion had committed. Unknowingly, Alex removed the cape and was teleported back to the antique shop, then ran out of the shop toward his home, thinking it had all been a hallucination. On the way, he discovered that the very mansion central to all the experiences he had witnessed was being constructed in his town. What will Alex do now?